hello everyone welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one more interview experience so today i will be sharing you my interview experience with blue j solutions and sharing you the interview questions that i have encountered in this process so this was the fir my first round so whatever questions i am sharing here is of my first round so this was a technical discussion one uh, it was held through microsoft teams meeting so as i was not attending on my la personal laptop i couldn't record that so i'm coming up with the interview video so coming to the role the role was for ssc uh, location was for hyderabad experience was 7 interview type virtual interview day was a weekday and like i got shortlisted from a naukri like i got a call from one of the consultancy recruiting consultancy and upon the discussion and having clarification on all the technological stack uh, i was shortlisted for the interview so this is the offer uh, what i can say interview call letter and this is the requirement you can hold for a session if you want to go through entire thing i will quickly go through the critical qualifications uh, like engineering or technical degrees b b tech mt mc uh, the total experience should be 6 plus java j2w sql web services javascript i uh, basically it was for a full stack developer role uh, experience with javascript based gui frameworks like typescript react js or angular js working knowledge of dbms or oracle mysql sql servers etc should have excellent uh, attention to high quality okay good communication good uh, excellent communication okay fine so this was about the requirements so in the upcoming slides i will share you the interview questions and before that i would like to share like who are we and what we do we are basically bunch of software engineers who attend interviews and share our interview experiences through these videos if you are our, if you are on our channel for the first time you can visit our channel and you can see the uh, interview experience that we have already shared and if you want to contribute please you can reach out to the email id that has been given in the description so this is a quick and short introduction of ourselves so coming to the question the first question a very routine question explain about your roles and responsibilities so i was well prepared for this question i have said all the things what i do in my day to day activities like code uh, write test cases execute test cases peer reviewing it conducting interviews giving cadets attending pa calls attending scrum calls and attend, attending meetings with uh, qas to analyze the defects and all those things i have said so in the next section he covered all the interview questions related to java it like what are the new features that got introduced in java it what is internal iteration in java it to be honest i was not aware of this thing internal iteration in java it i know about external iteration but first time i heard this and then was what is lambda expression and explain what is that syntax actually means so i have to explain in that uh, parentheses arrow mark and all those is the function thing the th three things i have explained create your own functional interface he asked me to create my own in functional interface so i have uh, used it that functional interface and i have created the uh, functional interface and then there was one more question on that what if if we remove that at that functional interface will that act still as a functional interface or not uh, it will so i said it will act so if it doesn't act please let me know so basically there a functional interface annotation is used as a metadata so that the compiler can know that one so this was my answer uh, what is optional why and how can we use it so basically optional class got introduced in java it uh, to uh, what i can say eradicate uh, in number of null checks we make use of this class then this here started the interesting questions i don't know like what made him to ask like he might have opened some site of jdbc interview questions and he has asked me the questions like what is jdbc driver to be honest i have uh, like i have completely forgot what was jdbc uh, thing itself because uh, seven months seven years back it was taught to me in my training but uh, after that i never used and never worked on that so here are some questions on jdbc like what he has what is jdbc driver so i said it is a driver name which is used 
what driver name we used to get connect to the db then he started asking me list out the driver names uh, i couldn't remember i vaguely remember something will be like, like dot odbc jdbc dot something like that so he was not at all convinced with the answer then the next question was what is the role of driver manager class here also i couldn't answer the question what is driver manager class then what is the difference between execute and execute query and i said some wrong answer definitely i said execute won't return result type and query execute query will return the result type uh, which i was not confident i just said this thing so please be prepared on this type of questions as well what is the disadvantage of prepared statement so i remember like we cannot use in clause in prepared statement uh, so i said the same thing what is web service was the next question he was explaining uh, expecting me to explain what is web service so explain him what are web services then he asked me to explain what are the different types of web services so i have explained about both soap and rest web services what are the differences between them is then i have explained him that as well like in which scenario in, with what web services you will go so to be honest i was not having any experience on soap i could say a lot of things on rest but i couldn't say anything on soap web services then the next question was when or how to use head method in sorry in rest api yeah, yeah. the question framed is wrong in rest how do you use like head method next question is how do you authorize a user so i have explained him like how we are authorizing that a user in our application using jwt token so i explained in the entire concept of jwt token how it works what is composition and what is benefit of it uh, at once i there nothing my, like my mind was blank all of a sudden what is composition when he asked then i would remember like what is composition and what benefit we get out of composition so basically he has a relationship and all those things i have to explain him then this was there was a question like what is thread local again like i couldn't answer this question as well because nothing was striking my mind at that time maybe i was not prepared for the interview was then there was a question like in what what i will go for like whether i will go with the synchronized method or synchronized block so i have explained him that i will go with synchronized block having the critical code inside the synchronized block rather than synchronizing the entire method and give gave him some examples of singleton so he was convinced on this answer what are the different life cycle hook hookups in angular so i have to explain all list down all the life cycle hookups method and uh, like giving definitions of it so this was about only like i believe three questions he has asked me from angular so next one was what is singleton in angular uh, this was the question so i uh, nothing struck me like then i uh, like services are singleton in angular when i said the, uh, like i said this answer uh, he said okay uh, what code do you write in on destroy method so basically any critical closing or clean up code we use usually write in on destroy method so i said the same thing like uh, unsubscribe sub subscribing and all that type of code we can write then he asked me what version of spring boot spring boot you are using i to, to be honest i couldn't remember the exact version i said some version of angular yeah uh, sorry some version of spring boot then the question was what is activator and in spring boot so basically to monitor the our application in, in live in the production we like activator helps us a lot there so explained in the same thing like monitoring the matrices different matrices and health of the different urls now this is useful so this were the questions that were asked to me and like coming to the feedback uh, I, i i am literally neutral to be honest like when he asked me about jdbc questions i felt a little surprised to be honest but we cannot say it's up to an interviewer what questions he can ask it's up to him and interview conducted in month this is march right now. so in the march 2021 this was conducted and in the next section i'll be explaining about the the company like what I, what it all what i got in my mail because uh, recently i have attended one more interview with gap so the the, the technical uh, what i can say technical discussion went really good and i was selected and in the manager round i was uh, was 
rejected because i was not able to answer about the company so that re- there i realized that knowing about the company is also very important thing especially when you are exp- exper- you when you are increasing your experience so coming to the company blue jay solutions so it has 45 years of supply chain leadership so it has 100 plus countries blue jay is de- deployed 40 clay based members in blue jay global trade network 7500 customers worldwide 4.5 billion boxes shipped up till now 6500 freight forwarding network members in 189 countries 1.1 billion transport like transportation transaction processed annually level 100 plus employees that in 13 countries with 14 offices one global trade network six solutions they are having they are francisco partners company so basically they are into supply chain product company specializing in tms compliance and customs forwarding parcel warehousing b2b commerce like logistic as a service and there here are some key customers of blue jay you can have a look dhl cisco philips samsung electrolux mother care so this here are some key customers and the presence across the globe like usa uk belgium switzerland netherlands denmark india singapore australia new zealand japan so in these all across the countries it is there so this was about the interview process at blue jay so i hope if you have liked the video please do subscribe or at least share like comment and provide us with the feedback whether you liked it or not and please do share it with others as well it might help someone who is looking out for similar kind of video and thank you for watching